we were talking about the little black fish at the bottom of my blog when the construction people from next door um, pulled up. So, relocated again, so we get a change of scenery, and we get my dad's bike. Clearly, look at this. I'm getting better at this because I pointed to the right direction first. That's awesome. I'm now in my backyard with the chickens, and they're used to me throwing them grapes, so they're, like, hollering for grapes. I apologize for that. Um, little blackfish. Little blackfish. They are at the bottom of my blog, swimming around. And they represent 10% losses. So, um, at 2.55, when I started to, to release my first little blackfish, I had to lose 25 pounds. And for my second one, uh, at that point, it was 22 pounds. It was 20 pounds this time. So since then, I have lost 13.4 pounds. I need to lose 6.6 .6 more pounds to release that little black fish and then just have one left. And after he is gone, it's 14 more pounds. So it's, it's getting crazy up in here. It's, it's melting off, and I'm trusting that Points Plus is going to be... Um, the plan that's going to take us the rest of the way. What is the rest of the way, little fat? Well, let me tell you. The rest of the way is simply 38.6 pounds to lose 100 pounds, which is baffling and mind-boggling. Because it's insane. Um, and 48.6 pounds to get to 145 pounds, which is my Weight Watchers goal. And it's the highest I can be at my height. So my goal is to make lifetime there and then try to see how I feel and where I'm at. Um, now, talking about, like, what made you embrace Points Plus, little fat, because you were so anti-Points Plus a week ago. Yes, well, it takes me a moment to get used to the idea of change. I cannot stand. When I was a teenager, I hated coming home, and my mom would rearrange, like, the house. And the furniture would be all discombobulated, and I'd be like, what are you trying to do to me? Like, seriously, you're killing me here. So, I, it takes me a minute. Serious! <laughs> okay, let's call the cat back. Um, she's out for the first time since she disappeared, and she's only out because I'm not here with her, but she was getting kind of far. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, embracing change. So, it took me a week to kind of get used to it. And what I did during that week, since I, y'all know, I went out and partied, and I drank a bit, and I was not expecting a loss, which I did. I lost two pounds. Yep, thank God. I mean, I still exercise, and I stuck to my points later on, but I don't even know. So, um, since I wasn't really expecting a loss, and I figured this is a week to experiment with, I went ahead and I pointed, like, I tracked in my tracker um, the old momentum points. And then I also used my iPhone to track the points plus. And I found that it kind of came out pretty much the same. So I was like, well, that's cool. That's, that'll work for me. I'll do that. And, and we'll go with it. And, and it's going to, you know, I'm going to embrace change. They know what they're doing. So let's go. Let's do it. Let's get that last 48.4 pounds gone. Because I'm ready. Also, I said in my meeting that I would never, ever be 255 again. And, um, or over 200 and one of the ladies was like don't ever say never I'm older than you and she's a really sweet lady but still I, 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 no I am I'm saying never because that that attitude doesn't work for me it works for other people it doesn't work for me and for me I need definitive and I'm never going to weigh that much again I'm not unless it's out of my control which there are very few weight issues that are truly beyond your control um Unless it's out of my control, I, I will never weigh that much again. And and, and I, that's for my family. It's for me. It's for my health. If you've been on here, you know I've been struggling and, and with the fibromyalgia and um, rheumatoid arthritis. And, and I, like, no, I will not let that happen. Because the weight didn't make me sick, but it certainly didn't help me in the long run with that. And since I've been working out and since I've been eating right, I feel better. Even I can't say the pain's gone it's not but I feel better and mentally I'm in a better place so that being said um when I decided to do Weight Watchers six and a half months ago I threw myself into it I was like that's it I'm buying the books I'm going to it so I did um I went and I bought the deluxe number set 
it's got all the books, it's got all the, um, like the dining out, the complete food companion. All this is on my iPhone, but I don't find that that easy to use. And it's got to be easy or I'm not going to do it. Not that I'm lazy, it's just that I don't have time. Like, I just do not have time to sit there and try to figure out where in my iPhone it is. Now, I'm sure one of these days I'll stumble upon it and I'll be like, damn, I can't believe it was that easy. But for now, that's not how I'm feeling. So, I'm, um... I don't know. I'm excited and I'm feeling good. And I lost two pounds this week, which is killer. So 61.5 pounds lost. 61.5? I don't know what I said, but I lost them. So that's what really matters, right? Uh, it's, it's 61 point something. Um, I don't know. I lost my little paper. I'm so sorry. 61.5 pounds. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's see. Look. Remember the whiteboard? I can't find it. So, I gave myself a little sheet here. Let's talk. The kids are sick. They are. But they're not that bad. And I think it might be the heater because we've been having to use the heater. I think it might be, like, messing with their heads. Christmas shopping. I'm done. I do internet shopping. I'm all about the internet shopping. I mean, I pick up little things here and there. But, yeah. Um... Oh, I'm trying a different gym. I love the gym that I was going to, and I plan on going there. But for Fee's sake, she was like, you can't just pick a gym. You can't just go to the gym. You have to try different gyms. So I'm trying a different gym for a week, and then I'm going back to the one that I like. Um, changing my purse. Everybody knows about my 50-pound purse, and I love my 50-pound purse, but I need to go back to like, because I'm going to be carrying the books around with me and hitting the program like a newbie. So I need a newbie purse, which means I need to have everything that I can fit in my purse. I'm going to change my purse. Um, oh, I have to talk to you about that, but I'm not going to do that today. So excited. I figured out what my 110 pound reward is. So, um, I wanted to mention, because we talk about this, right? You and I, we talk um, about trying to get healthier ideas of food. And one of the things I freak out, like, I freak out if I have a bite of something. I'm like, ah, I can't point that, blah, 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 and I freak out. The truth is that a bite, like, a true bite of something is not going to make you gain weight. It's when those bites string together to make what should have been called a meal. And it's when, if the wind is really bad, I'm so sorry. And it's when those bites don't stop and they add up. So I'm trying to have a healthier outlook on that and trying to relax about tasting things and just having a good relationship with food instead of being a freak. I'm working on that. This week I did something I have not done since I was in high school and I used a pair of uh, beads. Yeah, because I used to be able to use a pair of beads, but I wore a belt. I've given up. I admit that I need a belt. What I really need is new clothes. But I'm not buying them. We talked about this until I lose a lot more weight. So, wearing a belt. I need to drink more water. I'm saying it here. I'm running through these because I know it's already long. I need to drink more water. I'm saying it right here. Like, I'm challenging myself and anybody else who has not been drinking water the way they need to to drink more water with me. We are aiming for half of our weight in ounces. That's what we're aiming for. So, I'm drinking, like, what? Like, 98 ounces of water? I'm going to get it done. That's going to happen. Yeah, it's going to be good. I'm going to start pro like the points plus, and I'm going to drink water, and I'm going to kill it. We're going to kill it. Yay! Um, yeah. Oh, I already talked about those things, so that's good. Um, I'm going to get my nails done, and guys, for everybody who knows me and knows one's always a different color, I'm going to try to go all the same color. I know, I know. It's kind of freaking me out, and if you remember, I haven't done that since Halloween. But I'm going to try, and I'm going to, I think I'm going to rock Linkin Park After Dark, because I really love that color. It's like a dark, dark, dark red, brown, rust black color. I love it. So it's all the greatest dark colors in the world mixed together, so I'm going to try that. And I'll show it to you. I've been loving these gel manicures. They're $25, but it's totally worth it. They don't chip, and they stay on, and they look nice, and they make your nails stronger. And I do a lot of paperwork and work at a desk, so works for me. Okay, that was it. That was, that was the card.
So there you go. There's my, I'm going to do it. Melissa, I'm joining you, and I plan on being at the weight loss conference. I have been missing that, and I and it's been pissing, pissing me off, like, really, to no degree. So, weight loss conference, I'll be there Thursday, if it's still Thursday. I don't even know. So, you need to get in touch with these people. And, uh, <laughs> then you give you my number, you can, like, text me and be like, hey, remember, it's Thursday, because that's my problem. I forget until it's late. All right. There we go, guys. Points plus. It's happening. Got the cute little calculator to leave at work. One at home. Going to be all over the place. Going to read my books. I never did this before. I never read my 10 weeks. And this time they gave us our 10 weeks all in one. So I'm going to read this. And I'll let you know how that goes. I'm I'm excited. Thanks for being on the journey. Thanks for commenting. Um, you know, thumbing up when you do. And, and, and following on Twitter. Some of you do. And everything else. Just thanks. Y'all, y'all are a part of this, and I appreciate you. And I'm looking forward to hitting it again and to really making it happen.